Let's go over example 1 on section 1.3, functions and relations note. For each of the following equations, determine whether y is a function of x. Um, I'm going over the examples where we have an equation. Sometimes solve for y, sometimes we have to solve for y, but if you don't start with an equation, let's say that you have something like um, an ordered pair, okay? Um, a set of ordered pairs, things like 0, 1, 1, 2, I'm just making up an example, and 2, 5, just a random set of ordered pairs, um, 3, 6, okay? If you have an ordered pair that looks like this, um, to see whether this is a function or not, you need to look at all the x values. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Notice they're all different. If you have um, different x values, mm, here I say, if there's, no, if there's no repeating input, an x value, then this is, this is yes, this is a function. Okay? Notice that all the x values are different. Um, if you have a set of order pair that has like 1, 5, I'm just making it up, a random 1, 2, 6, um, 3, 5, but then you have 2 is paired with 10, um, and looking at the x values, 1 and 2 and 3, but notice how 2 repeated. One of the order pair had 2 paired with 6. This order pair has 2 paired with 10. If this happens, because 2 repeated in the domain, if you have a set of order pairs like this, this is no, not a function. Okay? Um, so if I read the definition of function right here, given the relation in x and y, we say that y is a function of x if for each value of x in the domain, there is exactly one value of y in the range. And that wasn't true uh, for this relation, right? We had a, 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 an x value of 2 that was paired with both 6 and 10 at the same time. So that's why, uh, because of these two yellow highlighted order pairs, um, this function and uh, this relation was not a function. So um, if it's an order pair or a mapping, and I think you're going to see an, a mapping problem on your Alex topic this week, um, you just want to make sure that you don't have any repeating x values, okay, when you are determining whether a relation is a function or not. But if you have the equation, what you will have to do is step number one first. First, solve for y, okay? First, solve for y. Let's, let's take a look at the first one. Well, the first one is already solved for y, so we don't have to do extra work. It says y equals negative x squared plus 3x minus 1. Is this a function? Yes, it is, right? In fact, this is a special function. What kind of function is this? Um, it's a, a square function, a squaring function, and we call this a quadratic function. Okay? Because any x value that you plug in here um, is going to give, well, for example, if you plug in, let's say, 5 in there, if you plug in 5 in there, and you follow the order of operation, you're going to get one y value. And every time you plug in 5 into this function, you are going to get that same y value. Okay? So that makes it a function. You're not going to plug in 5 one time and get... Um, uh, like 100 one time and 20 the other time. If you plug in the same x value, y value is always going to come out the same. So this is a function. This is a quadratic function. But let's look at some other ones. Um, how about c? How about c? Let's look at c. Well, first you have to solve this for y. So if I solve this for y, who's right here, I will have to first add 3 to both sides. If I add 3 to both sides, I get x plus 3 is equal to 2y squared. Divide both sides by 2, right? Divide both sides by 2. Okay, I'll move it over here. And I'll switch the left and right side. 2 cancels out, leaving us with only 2y squared, which is equal to x plus 3 over 2. Now, to get rid of squaring, what should you do to both sides? To get rid of squaring, we need to take square root of both sides. But remember, whenever you take even root, whenever you take even root, like 
um, square root, fourth root, or sixth root, or eighth root, um, you need to put what sign in front of it? Plus or minus sign in front of it. And this is plus or minus. Now, just because of this plus or minus symbol right there, this makes it not a function. Why? Because imagine plugging in negative 3 in here. Let's see that we... Well, not negative. That's not a bad example. That's not a good example because negative 3 will make the numerator 0. But anyways, let me pick another one. Like, what if you pick 1 in here? What happens if x is 1? Then y can be plus or minus 1 plus 3 divided by 2, which is plus or minus... 4 divided by 2, which is plus or minus square root of 2. Well, plus or minus 2 is positive square root of 2 and negative square root of 2. We're looking at two different y values. So a single x value of 1 um, is resulting in um, square root of 2 and a negative square root of 2. And that is not good. This is a repeating well, if you write this as an ordered pair, you can see um, one repeated, and with and they're paired with two different y values. So whenever you take even root, um, plus or minus sign appears, and because of that plus or minus sign, uh, one x value will result in one positive answer and one negative y value. So for that reason, this is not a function. Let me erase these because. And because of this plus or minus sign, this is not a function. Okay? All right, let's look at D who is right below it. Let me go ahead and solve this for Y. Um, how do you get rid of this fraction, 9 over 2? We're going to multiply both sides by its reciprocal. Reciprocal of 9 over 2 is, you flip that fraction, multiply both sides by 2 over 9. So I have a 2 over 9 times X equals 2 over 9 times 9 over 2 y squared. I literally just multiply that same fraction, 2 over 9, to both sides. And what will happen on the right side is that fraction cancels out, leaving us with y squared is equal to 2 over 9x. To solve for y, you need to take square root of both sides. What happened? If you take square root, just like what happened above, um, the plus or minus sign appears, okay? So it's plus or minus square root of 2 over 9x is equal to y. And we don't really have to test any numbers. Uh, uh, but the fact that if you plug in a single x value in, uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. It's not like we're in a Zoom meeting right now, so we can just, I can do it. Um, what if I plug in x equals um, just a random number. Okay, one, one's easy. If I plug in one in there, what will happen? Y is equal to plus or minus 2 over 9 times 1, okay, which is plus or minus. Well, I can go ahead and get this 9 out of the square root, but 2 will be um, still in square root, but the square root of 9 can come out as 3. Well, that's not the important point here. The fact is, the important point is that we have a positive and a negative. So if you write this in an order pair, I can pair up 1 with positive square root of 2 over 3. But I can also pair up 1 with negative square root of 2 over 3. And this is a single x value paired with two different, they look similar, but one is positive and one is negative. So they're not the same. So this is not good. So for that reason, this is not a function. So anytime you have to take square root of both sides and the plus or minus sign appears, you know that it is not going to be a function. But that's not necessarily true for taking cube root because cube root or fifth root, anytime you take the odd root, we don't have to put the plus or minus sign, okay? All right, let's look at the very last one over here in uh, part B. I need to solve for uh, y first, so solve for y. Um, subtract 1 from both sides. I get x minus 1 is equal to 2y. Well, to solve for y, I need to get rid of this 2, so let's divide everything by 2. Now, I did say everything by 2, right? So let me go ahead and write it this way. I divide everything by 2. So I'll just write it as, because, you know, the left side was a binomial. I can divide both of them by 2. 
And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to write this in a little bit prettier form. Um, the two cancels out over there, leaving me with y equals, take a look, um, the first term is 1 over 1 over 2x, 1 over 2x, okay? And then this part is just minus 1 half. I wanted to write it this way because um, you guys have seen this before. And this is y equals mx plus b, isn't it? Where m, the slope is half, and b, the y-intercept is negative one-half. What kind of function is this? This is a, this is a linear function, okay? So um, some special functions, guys, have names. They're so special, like linear, quadratic, cubic, square root function, um, absolute value functions. And we're going to look at a bunch of uh, function families in section 1.6. And uh, we're going to do some transformation on certain types of functions. Um, some functions have special names, and this one is called a linear function. Um, I don't think my note for this section has vertical line test um, to determine whether a function is a, a relation is a function or not. But I'm, I'm sure you've heard of vertical line test in um, algebra class. Um, if you graph this, if you graph this function, half... Um, x minus half, I start at, let's say this is 1 and this is negative 1 and this is negative 1 half. Um, we have a y-intercept at negative 1 half and the slope is going up 1 over 1. So um, it's going to be like a diagonal line going up from left to right. If you do a vertical line test, will it pass every time? It will. So um, if you see a vertical line test topic asked on your Alex homework, I'm sure they do provide um, videos on it and extra notes on it. But that's something, remember how we talked about that I wanted you guys to take the first day diagnostics test for this class, right? So um, there are certain topics that um, I ask you to, um, I hope that you've seen before coming to pre-calculus class. So um, I do have some of those prerequisite skills built in um, this week's homework. So if you are struggling with some of those ideas that I did not go over in this note on this week's lecture, um, please email me. Okay, please email me so that we get to talk about what it is and uh, I can record a short video. But I do know that there are resources that um, are, uh, that, that Alex provides too. So you can work with those too, okay? Um, so that's it for example one. Uh, you can come back and watch other videos where, we, uh, where I went over example 2B 